So I wanted to do an update on the Prospects Collide card by Garcia Promotions this Friday, January 18th in San Bernardino. Uh, the main event is Louis Coria, who's 9-2. His opponent has been changed uh, just in the last week. His new opponent is uh, David Michel Foss, 4-5-1. Uh, this is uh, at the featherweight, 126-pound division, and it's scheduled to be a six-rounder. The opponent is from Buenos Aires, Argentina. His nickname is El Chaqueño. And uh, he has fought Shakur Stevenson recently on the uh, Terrence Crawford, Julius and Dongo card in Lincoln, Nebraska. Isaac Kulunga is a uh, 2-0. He's from Corona. He is living in the Riverside area. He is fighting Patrick Gutierrez. They fight at 130. And this is a scheduled four-rounder. Bringing in B Fly Macias will be fighting Giovanni Noriega. B Fly is uh, 3 0, and Giovanni Noriega's record is 2 3 and 1. This is scheduled to be a four round fight. Giovanni has uh, previously fought another RGBA fighter at 112, uh, Robert Biggie Rodriguez from San Antonio, Texas, March of last year. Anthony Chavez, 6 0, will be fighting Emmanuel Castro who is a uh, 2-4-0. Oh, Anthony is a local fighter from Riverside area and is trained by Henry Ramirez. Uh, if you want to follow Anthony, his IG is the real too pretty. Emmanuel Castro lives in Los Angeles. He's originally from Los Mochis, Sinaloa. And his uh, last two fights, he's uh, suffered losses. From Fontana, Ray Danger Murataya, 5-0, 3 knockouts. His opponent is El Surdo, Nicolas Atilio. Velasquez, who's 10 and 3. Um, his opponent is also another Argentinian. He is an Argentine with all his fights in this country, short his last fight and this fight. Nicholas is a lightweight Southpaw fighter. He is coming off a loss to Shakram Giasov in Brooklyn, New York, in March of last year. We have not heard an update on Gucci Manny, Manuel Flores, 7 0, 5 knockouts. He is uh, Cameron Duncan's fighter. So hopefully um, it's already Wednesday. So we don't know up what's the deadline to get Manuel Flores on the card, but there were rumors that he'd be on the card. He is, uh, he's seen in this picture right here, sparring Abner Mares as Mares uh, prepares for Tank Davis. And then his main, uh, Abner Mara's main sparring partner is Isidro Ochoa, a top-ranked fighter who fights, I believe, at 122. In, that's his, uh, and can go from left hand to right hand, go from an orthodox stance to a southpaw stance. So uh, hopefully Manuel Flores gets an opportunity to fight on this card. And then I just got off of Instagram where Alexis El Macizo Espino was doing a live video, and I... Uh, Send him a message. Ask, actually, I sent him a message saying, "Hey, hope to see you in San Bernardino in a couple of days." And he said that he's not going to be in San Bernardino; that he will be in Las Vegas. I don't know if he's going to pro debut there or if he's just there to see the fight, Pacquiao versus Broner. So that kind of sucks. I was looking forward to seeing him. He's 160 pay, 60 pound middleweight, you know, and I think uh, he's already. He's already been scheduled to have two pro debuts, one in England in December, which fell through, and then now it looks like the San Bernardino date has fallen through as well. So the best the best thing that could happen is that he gets his pro debut on the card for Pacquiao and Broner. So that would be amazing. That would be great exposure. So we'll see what happens with that. And then they thrown this card on the they thrown this fight on the card. It's a super middleweight, Trianta. Pylos Mavidius, 1-0, and, oh, and he will be fighting Golwyn Williams. So uh, I uh, didn't post a picture of him. I, had, I, I found one on the internet, but I didn't post one. So I'm Sontail Media. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me at Twitter on Twitter, at Sontail underscore media. And you can follow me on Instagram as well, Sontail underscore media. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if there's any more news, I will be updating those as they come out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.